Hey everyone, Mike here today with some thoughts here on House Flipper. I've been playing this game for a couple hours already, and it's one of those really casual games that happens to appeal to a lot of people because, well, it is pretty satisfying, you know, cleaning houses and renovating and doing all sorts of stuff. So here's kind of the, the basic house to start with. It's your sort of home office. It's uh it's pretty run down. I have taken the time to kind of clean it. Um, but that's okay, because while flipping houses here are is kind of part of the game and part of the name of the game, um, the reality is that it does take money to start doing some of this stuff. Uh, and so, hey, you may recognize, no, this is not DLC. Some of these houses are uh, definitely part of the base game or they're not mods either um uh, some of these are dlc though as shown by the icon in the top right corner uh, but anyways yeah a lot of um i don't know houses from various things that you may recognize uh, which is uh, kind of cool i guess kind of weird kind of different uh but anyways like i said that's not the whole part of the game part of the game as well is doing all these side missions and so these missions here or these contracts they all have fairly specific things so get rid of the furniture sure get rid of the stuff all right well we'll help redecorate this one house uh, and so while the flipping aspect of the game is not something you do at first, most of the things you'll be doing here with these houses is kind of part of the the gameplay loop that, you know, when you decide to go and start flipping, you'll be doing some of this as well. So let's bring up our little tablet here. You'll see living room. We have a bunch of stuff to do. All the objects that they want us to buy and redecorate with are here. Uh, sometimes it'll be more generic. And it'll be like a... You know, instead of this dresser... Or, oh, this is not a dresser. This is a kitchen island. But let's say it was a dresser. You may have the, the option. Or like a shower, right? You can buy whatever shower you want. In other cases, they'll get you to do everything. Uh, so we'll start with the basics. Whatever we can sell will be surrounded by blue. And they did say they want us to sell stuff. And we got to take this wall down, which means we have to uh, get rid of the door at least. So we'll just start selling everything. Whatever they want to keep, we'll go ahead and leave there. And yeah, we'll deal with that later. Uh, so, radiator's good, lighting is usually good, none of these doors have to go. I think we've gotten rid of everything. Next, we start doing some demolition work. Uh, I'll start at the bottom here. I'll just knock the bottoms off of these walls. And you'll see that it's kind of working on a, you know, columns, right? And so if we have to do painting or tile work or anything like that a lot of the game works off of kind of a, a tile system like this and so that's this is how you get your you know it, it makes stuff a little bit easier to paint and um when you're placing things in the world as well it helps a little bit Yeah, by knocking the bottom out first and then hitting the top off here we don't have to sit there and hammer away at all the all the middle pits bits of the wall we're able to just knock the top and bottom off and let it collapse now we got more demo work to do over here we're looking at the uh yeah Looking at the, the mini-map in the top right, but we'll deal with that later. Uh, so anyways, you might have seen that we got a perk point. And so, different aspects of the game 
will have different perks that you can get. So when we get into painting, you'll see, you know, I'll be painting multiple walls really quickly. Cleaning as well. I see all the dirty spots on the map. Got a slightly better mop. Uh, and so for demolition work here. Yeah, we'll get a better piece of equipment, I guess. <clears throat> we'll see how that works. All right, so you got to buy stuff. Actually, what do we have to do? <laughs> yeah, we have to buy stuff. Oh, there's no dirt to clean. But we do have to paint. And no floor to do, actually, surprisingly enough. Oh. Let's, uh... There, knock that off. All right, let's do paint first. It'll be easy because there's nothing in the way. So we have white and mandarin orange. Um, you don't necessarily have to use both colors. And since this entire room will extend down to here, let's see. We can do... We can do the main area in orange, and then we'll just leave like the hallway here in white. And by leave it, I mean we'll paint it white, obviously. We'll just buy a small, small bucket of white. Put that over there. A medium bucket of orange. Should be fine. And let's get painting. So yeah, you can see how this becomes pretty satisfying for some people. You know, just looking at the the transformations happening and and all that fun stuff um it makes sense yeah it's it's one of those satisfying things that yeah i i know people who just love the idea of renovating and updating their look as they say and hey if you're not spending a ton of money and you got the time and money to do that stuff. That's great. Uh, and if you don't, well, guess what? You can you can do it for cheap and experience part of that here in the game itself. Um, but yeah, it's uh, there's so many of these kind of casual simulator games out there, and they're all good in their own respect. I think. At least for me personally, I find a lot of them, there's always kind of room for improvement uh, in, in many, many regards. So I'm not going to say this is exceptional, but I think what they've done here is good enough to build on. And of course, they do have a sequel coming out, as they'll say on their Steam page. Uh, so painting, what what can we do? We could paint three walls, or we could paint faster. Uh, three walls doesn't sound like a bad idea either. Uh, so I just click and drag three walls, and it'll kind of complete all of them at once. Yeah, without without some of the upgrades, some of these tasks are a little tedious. Uh, but thankfully, that's kind of what they get you to do early on is basically, hey, here's some, you know, here's cleaning tasks. And that's kind of all they give you for a while. And then here's a lot of painting. And once once you're getting good at that, you know, you're getting upgrades pretty quick as well. And so it doesn't take long for for you to start one becoming good at, at these things and two for them to uh yeah be kind of simplified and upgraded yes uh i'm overextending a little bit but look at that sure looks a lot nicer now uh we'll fill up on some white here and so that little basic shock that i started the game with this is kind of what you're supposed to be doing eventually. Uh, and the nice part is, well, you can do it however the fuck you want. Um, from what I remember, and it's been a while since, you know, since I've seen people play it, but from what I remember, you can also kind of 
build your house and try and meet certain tastes when you try and sell it. So you know, you know, you know, there's buyers out there looking for X, Y, and Z, and you kind of go for it that way. Um, but anyways, like I said, we're not in the the flipping side yet. So I got a couple of things here: bar chair, fridge. Uh, I imagine the sink. Huh, is there somewhere specific for this sink? Because usually these things would require piping somewhere. I'm not seeing any. Uh, let's see. So we need to get a fairly specific thing here. We got an orange wall, orange and white. Just looking at the different colors here. Yeah, nothing, nothing standing out so far as being like a. I mean, the white, <laughs> the white would be a little, well, might not be that bad. White on black. Probably wouldn't look great with the orange walls, but oh, it's good to go. Oh, okay. And we could put this one anywhere. Cool. So sometimes... Am I supposed to, like, put it, I don't know, here-ish? Actually, let's put it out of here. Ah, yeah, I want to put the heating plate. Let's look at the other heating plate. What does this look like? Okay. Ooh, pink. Wow. <laughs> That's a little bit much. I'm gonna do a black. Black granite. All black? Yeah, let's let's give that a go. Okay, so we'll put this here. Somewhere like here. And then we'll do Yeah, let's let's go for the all black look. Black granite. Black wood. Black zinc. Can we sort of vaguely line up? Sure. Sure, that's a little awkward, but it's good enough. We'll put the uh, bridge there in the corner. She kind of like that design. Go for that. The tiny, tiny fridge. Okay. What else? We need a TV stand, a sofa, and a ch two chairs. The chairs, yeah, we'll keep going for our all black look. Put them somewhere like here and here. We could put our TV stand over here somewhere. in the way of people walking by. I don't know, there shouldn't be too many people walking by here anyways. And then we need to... Sure. <laughs> uh, again. Slightly awkward placement of stuff. But that's okay. That's the beauty of this game. You can do whatever the heck you want. Nothing's really stopping you from... From, uh, uh, yeah, that, that'll be the entertainment. We don't have a TV, so we'll put a plant there. Anyways. So, we got to do a little bit of that. And a little bit of that. Alright. So, let's start selling 
anything we don't want to keep. So we're going to keep the nice wardrobe there. Where we're going to get rid of some of the other stuff. Uh, so we'll take a look after this. See what else there is. The game may give us a little bit of a... Or I might, I might be able to find like a more... Um, like a cleaning style mission or something. But honestly, it's more of kind of what we're doing now instead of, you know, dem demolition and building stuff. Some of the missions will focus a little bit more on just picking up garbage and fixing things and stuff like that. Uh, it's pretty straightforward for the most part. It's not a particularly difficult, challenging, or complex game. Um, but I think... I think it's, it's good enough. You know, it's got some slightly unique things going on, and... Yeah. People like it. That's... I think that, that to me, ultimately, is the important part, is... It's been very well-reviewed. I remember when it came out... Uh, you know, Asset Flipper was kind of the the joke because it was a lot of just Unity or Unreal Engine assets, I forget which, probably Unity. And so there's a lot of kind of off-the-shelf stuff in that sense that they just kind of grabbed from one of the marketplace stores, just kind of threw together and made the game out of that. Which is fine, because honestly, if you wanted prototype or demo stuff, like that's kind of the way to go. Um, having said that... Actually, I'm trying to check. Yeah, there's... There's no other work. Okay. Um, yeah, having said that, over the, over the years, they've definitely, you know, evolved the game and turned it into something that's I find kind of cool, kind of enjoyable. Um, probably not something I'll, I'm personally going to stick with super long term just because there's a lot of other awesome games out there that I, I really want to play. Uh, but at least experiencing this, seeing what it is, seeing what people like about it, um, that's that's been fun so far. And um, yeah, it's not a terribly expensive game on its own, uh, especially while well, I'm looking right now, and it's 80% off, so it's $5.79 Canadian. Shit. Pretty cheap. Uh, and from what I gather, the base game is often reasonably cheap because they do have a lot of extra DLC, and it sounds like a lot of the cooler, fun bits are kind of locked away in that DLC. Uh, which is... I don't know. Slightly unfortunate, I guess. If that makes sense. Like, at the end of the day, this is mostly... Well, from, from what you've seen so far, and from what I've played, this is all base game content. I've not dove into any of the DLC stuff. Um, there are two DLCs that are free. That I do have at the moment. Uh, so you saw some of the levels. Or some of the houses that were part of those. But. I've not done any of that stuff yet. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I, it's. It's it's a tough one to kind of recommend though. Like if you like what you're seeing. Or I don't have to recommend it, because, well, you're probably going to get it anyways, right? And so, it is a little tough to go out there and say, well, yeah, I think, even if this doesn't seem interesting to you, you should try it, because it's good. And it's like, well, yeah, but maybe not. This is definitely not one of those things I'm just going to recommend to anybody. Ah, oh, we're going to... I'm gonna have to buy a, a tiny little can here. 
That's okay. You do get paid quite a bit to do a lot of these contracts, so... Having to go out and buy an extra little bit of supplies here is not the end of the world. Alright, so... 96%. Actually, that's... Okay. Actually kind of surprised that... Normally you do everything, and it works immediately. And normally... And normally the bottom, like the sills here, don't count. Maybe one of these counts. All right, I did the outdoor sills, done that. Uh, did one of these not get... Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> As I say, no, normally it's not tricky. Norm normally it's pretty obvious if you missed the spot, and we did. Cool. So, uh, whoops, I didn't want to do that yet. So I could have ended the job, or we could also just buy the stuff they wanted to do. We'll do that. So they want this very specific bed. Which pretty crazy colors. Hmm. Sure, let's go for this like older quilted look. Or flower pattern. Uh, yeah, right near the radiator. It'll be nice and warm <laughs> into winter. Uh, what else? Kind of a bookshelf thing. Oh, bedside table. I forgot to put those down. Yeah, we'll keep the... I don't feel fit anyways. The one there. The other one here. Sure. We'll do that bookshelf. Go for kind of a... Weird contrasty color. Why not? Get the tor corner desk in, and we should be good to go after we get the chair to round this off. We'll just kind of up there. And there you have it. So once you've completed a task, you can leave, and you'll say we've done 100,000. Or 100%, and they're going to pay us 18000 to do this. And we'll go ahead and agree with that. Go back to our uh, home that uh, needs a lot of work. But why work on our house when we can make money working on other people's house? Uh, so let's see, is there one of these? This is a garage, so yeah, this is a cleaning job. Let's do this real quick. We'll do cleaning jobs as well. Uh, so, this is kind of what you start the game with. Uh, you tend to do a lot of these cleaning things. So. Yeah, as you'll see, nice, dirty, grimy. A lot of trash. And the trash is pretty straightforward for the most part. You just click on it, and it goes away. And it's not very difficult. Thankfully, everything is just identified on the right hand of the screen. So I've not really struggled to find, like, the missing 1% or whatever at times. Maybe once or twice, I just had to, like, spin around and look at what I missed. Uh, but for the most part, it's been pretty quick. Uh, Ultra Hypermop 2018, sure. Try out the 
Quick our mop, seeing as we're doing a lot of cleaning here. Yeah. So good tires black. Fully black, whereas the other worn tires are kinda grayish and have varying colors. We'll pick up all the trash. Put the good tire, I guess, on the shelf. Broken trash bins. Uh so this is a case where we got a couple percentage left. Oh yeah, the posters. Oh, well, this is a good poster. Hmm. Well, like I said, generally, <laughs> generally, you don't have to uh, go around trying hunting stuff, but occasionally, ah, there's the box. There we go. Uh, occasionally, it's a little tough. Uh, so here's our Ouija mop thingy for the windows. Just kind of click and drag. That's nice. And then we have a fancier floor mop here. Ooh. Definitely more effective than the old one. The old, the previous one that I had was like a sort of a push broom looking thing. Or the, yeah, the previous one being the upgraded one was kind of a push broom, and then before that it was like a straw <laughs> style broom. All right. So now you might be saying, saying, well, hold on, like, what else do I have? Well, we got some stuff up here that we can see. That's left. I'll we'll clean this up. All right, so that's the garage clean. Oh, there's a outside. We're out, out back. Oh, there it is. There's also this area that we gotta clean up. All right, so yeah, that's uh, that's the game in a nutshell. It's it's fun, it's casual, it's you know. I don't have anything necessarily bad to say. I think as far as improvements will go, well, look, they have a sequel on the way, so yeah, I'm sure they're gonna introduce a bunch of stuff there. Um. Yeah, as far as this game goes, it's it's fine. I don't have anything particular that I would could immediately think of as a way to improve it. Um, I think for what they're going for and the general general feeling on this game, most people seem to like it. Uh, of course. <sighs> And then, yeah, you know, this is something I, I kind of argued with the Power Wash Simulator. I wish it was a little bit more than just, hey, here's some overlay textures and we're slowly fading them out as you know, your, your way of saying stuff is being clean. <laughs> Again, not the easiest thing in the world for a small team to, to do because there's a lot of actual game stuff to do. And the important part is to make the game part of the game good. And so, if you wanted to have more realistic cleaning things, well... It's not the easiest thing in the world to do. Uh, having said that, this game is definitely much more uh, involved than, like, than that game as well. Uh, and Power Wash Simulator, there's, there's just more stuff to do in general. Oh, and so I do appreciate that. Uh, but anyways, yeah. I'll have to uh, eventually fix and start working on this house and selling it and 
buying new houses but as you can see we got plenty more things to do and uh yeah i'll get on some of these side little contracts and uh till then see you guys next time